Are you tired of lag and low FPS holding you back in your favorite games? In this video, I'll show you how to optimize Windows 10 and 11 for gaming on low-end PCs. These quick and easy tweaks will boost your FPS fix lag and give you smoother gameplay. So let's dive into the video. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for the optimization of your ping while you play games. Using your wired or wireless connection, so get this paid program free from my description. And play your game with lower ping. So we will find ease of access under accessibility, go to visual effects, and just disable transparency effects and animation effects. So gaming, game bar, turn it off. We all need it. Game mode, turn that thing on. Uh, specifically in Windows 11 too, they did a lot of updates to it, so it's even better than it used to be in Windows 10. And just while we're here, under graphics, if you have a game like Fortnite, for example, go to options, high performance, save, and you're good. We want to unpark all of our CPU cores. You can find it on my official website through the link in the description. Let's just make sure that our CPU is working at full capacity. It's not slacking off, leaving the load on a specific core. Just this ladder here, do unparked, apply, or just hit unpark all right here. Also apply. And then this tool here called Interrupt Affinity Policy Tool. Want to run that as admin. You can find it on my official LED site through the link in the description. So here, this is just binding specific cores to specific parts of your machine. So root hubs, that's like the mouse, keyboard, everything else that plugs into the bat. So we want to set a mask and then just put it on not zero, not one, not two. We never want to put it on those. Those are our system cores. So just put it on three, hit OK, and it wants to restart, hit no. And that's something that can kind of close out some of those is don't restart device and making changes. And then we have USB client host controllers that mask. We'll just do four. You'll get a lot of pop-ups. Just keep on clicking through it. It's fine. And we just want to scroll through and set cores for all of the USB root hubs and the compliant host controllers. It might take a little bit of scrolling, but you'll get there. Here we go. I got another one and we'll set this to five. And we got another USB 3.0 hub right here we will go with six get okay and once again just keep on scrolling through use another host controller go to seven and you are able to reuse these it doesn't need to be a one-to-one -one ratio basically here's another usb 3.0 and i will set this on three again just to show you guys and it's completely okay and there we go after that you just want to hit done close out of that close out of this if you haven't and we have something called msi utility version 3 you can find it on my official website through the link in the description if you want to go ahead run that as an admin and i'm here we have MSI and indirect priority right here. And from MSI mode, it has to say that it's supported right here before you check it. PSP, the only things here that really need to be set to high priority is your GPU, set that to high, and then whatever your connection to the internet is, which mine is my ethernet. And then also if you want a few extra boost to your NVM Express controllers, that's just your storage devices, so you can set those to high swell. Hit, apply, close out. And then here we have something called MSI Afterburner. You can find it on my official LED site through the link in the description. But basically, we want to set a custom fan curve here. So I'm going to go over to settings. And then you want to start with Windows, start minimized. And then head on over to a fan, enable user-defined software control. Set the fan update period to 10,000. And then just follow these fan curves right here. This should keep your GPU perfectly cool at all times. You see mine right now, it's a 3080 Ti resting at 45. That is not too bad. If you have multiple fans, you'll see something called fan sync here. You wanna make sure that those are synced. And afterwards, make sure that this one, the sun appears blue. This also makes sure that your and the soft burner starts on startup. After that, just minimize that. You wanna make sure that's run in the background. Got our little fighter jet right here. Next, we have something called System Explorer. You can find it on my official LED site through the link in the description. So first we want to type in explorer.exe. Here it is. Process priority, set it to high, and then click permanent after. And then for process affinity, we want to click one, two off, and then half of your total cores. So that would be 16 and 17 for me. And then once again, hit permanent down here at the bottom. And then afterwards, go to win logon, just right here above, do below normal, hit permanent. And then here, you don't want to touch these at all, but still set it to permanent just to be safe. After that, we can minimize it and 
make sure that it is running in the background. And next we have Oh No. You can find it on my official website through the link in the description. So let's go ahead and run that as an admin. And then here we want to go up to actions, apply only recommended settings. It's gonna ask you to create a resource point. You can if you want to. We already did that at the start of the video. I'm gonna hit no. You can actually just close out and it'll all apply. So it's gonna ask, do you wanna close? So yes. And then here we have something called Windows Tweaker. You want to run as admin as well. You can find it on my official website through the link in the description. Head on over to customization. We want to disable start animations. Hit apply. Your screen will flash. It is completely fine. Next, you want to head on over to performance. Drag goes to a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, and check all of these. After that, hit apply again. After that, down to security and privacy. We want to disable timeline future. You don't really need that. Windows Defender, um, I don't really think that Windows will allow you to do this anymore. So even if you check it and apply it, Windows Defender will still be there. We want to turn off user tracking and disable OneDrive if you don't use it. Once again, hit apply, you're good there. Now, if you go to the privacy tab, also at the top and check all of these, you wanna hit apply again. And then here under additional, there is a huge, huge tip that you wanna do. Enable the network adapter onboard processor. This can help out so, so much. Apply it and then you can close out.